It's minus 22 outside right now. There's an extreme cold warning, which might make this a strange day to talk about swimming and about swimming in the buff. But given the completely bizarre and brazen events in Calgary this week, I thought this was a time to strip down an issue and lay it bare. Let me give you the skinny on what happened in Calgary. The city of Calgary canceled a long-planned clothing optional swim event at its Southland Leisure Centre. A naturist group had booked the facility for a private, members-only, family-friendly, nude swim. It's been holding such events for years. But someone, somewhere, used social media to whip up a vicious online mob. And that mob launched an online witch hunt against the nudist group. The fury mounted, stoked by some intemperate comments by Calgary City Councillors, until there were bomb threats, along with other threats of violence and extortion. Here's the naked truth. Calgary let the online terrorists win. The city cancelled the event, saying it couldn't guarantee the safety of participants. And there we saw laid bare the naked hypocrisy of those online trolls who claimed they wanted to protect children from potential pedophiles. It's hard to shriek, what about the children, while you're threatening to blow them up. Let me bare my soul to you. I have been known to skinny dip in my time. I've been known, now don't gasp, to sit in a sauna wrapped only in a towel, and I don't consider myself particularly debauched or depraved. It is 2018. Why are we suddenly allowing ourselves to be bullied by a puritanical mob, an online Taliban, who want to dictate with threats of violence how strangers dress or don't at a private function? Here in Edmonton, our public pools have been hosting private, clothing-optional swim events for almost 40 years without complaint, without incident. I hope we're not going to throw in the towel. I hope we'll buck the naked shaming trend and not give in to such stark naked threats. And if you'll forgive me for getting a little bit cheeky, I hope we won't forget that civil disagreement is a bare necessity for sharing a city.